going on YouTube? Gil 78 here, RC World here, coming at you with another video today. Today, we are doing a new project that I have going out with my buddy Bill from Bill's RC World. We are making a new truck. Let me go ahead and grab it for you real quick and take a look at it. It is a stadium truck. And you're probably thinking, yeah, whatever, you know, it's a stadium truck. Um, the goal here, guys, is to make a speed truck. Um, we kind of have a little thing going, a little deal going that we got. Um, it's basically we're building a speed truck, but his is old school, mine's new school. Um, this is a T Durango D210R, I think. Don't mark me on that, but anyways. I got this on eBay for a sweet deal, so that's why I snagged it up. Um, I know the kits go for like $260, $278. I got this assembled, just like you see it, with a few parts for about $50, $60. $60. I could not beat it. I know dude messaged me after I won it and said, Man, I cannot believe it went that cheap. You got a great deal. And yes, I did. Uh, so anyways... This is going to turn into a speed truck. This right now is set up as mid-motor, and that's the way I wanted it set up. So that kind of helped. So enough about the truck. Um, things that are going in the truck. Uh, oh, actually, let me tell you the rest about the deal. Basically, how it's going is he's got an old-school RC10 GT um, that he converted to electric. or in the process of converting into electric since I'm in the process of getting this one built. Um, we're basically going to do an old school versus new school. We're going to set the truck up gear ratio the best that we can, knowing that his is kind of older, um, to kind of get a matchup just to see what they're going to do with the same run. We're running the same ESC. Um, his motor is a little faster, but we kind of figured Italian the weight might be a little bit heavier for his than mine. We are planning on doing a weight to find out where weight's at between the two trucks. It may be close to the same. I don't know. Um, but anyways, we'll keep you, keep you up to date on what's going on with everything and how it all works out. Um, also, two guys today I'm recording on my computer, my webcam. Um, I have a webcam with a remote that can, you, know, you can zoom in and out, move it around and all kinds of stuff. But anyways, that's here nor there. Just wanted to let you go. That might be the difference in the quality. So anyways, ESC. This is a Chinese aftermarket ESC. Um, I only paid like $22 to $25 for this ESC. Uh, one thing I do like about it is it's completely fully programmable. I, can, I have a program card that hooks right up into this. I can add boost, make boost out, add curve. I mean, I could do whatever I want with this ESC. So that is why we went with this. This is a 120 amp ESC. So... I may try adding a, a, a four-cell lipo to this sucker just to see what it'll do for speed-wise. I don't know. My goal for speed right now, the very first run, I'd like to see it possibly hit maybe 60 mile an hour, but we'll see. Um, speaking of, I do have a radar gun on the way. It's a, It actually should be here today. Um, next thing, servo. Uh, this is a Bluebird. Uh, Bluebird Servo, it is the BMS 620MG. Uh, I normally get the other one. There's one that's a little bit better, and I actually thought when I purchased it that was the one. Um, I can't remember the exact one, but it's in a green case. Um, but this Servo is not far off from that one, so I'm still satisfied with it. I'm going to go ahead and run it. So that's the Servo. Um, if you guys never ran Bluebird Servos before, you can get them at Hobby King, and they are a phenomenal Servo. They are fast. And they're cheap. This servo, I think, only cost me 14 15 bucks. Metal gear and very fast. So, uh, motor. This is a Chinese. I don't remember the name, but it isn't everything Chinese, though, guys. But uh, this motor only cost me about 30 bucks. Shipped to my door. This is a 6.5 turn brushless motor. Um, we're going to see what this one does. Uh, my buddy Bill bought a 3.2, I think it is. And if, 
If his runs a little bit better than mine, I may upgrade to that motor. But for now, we are going to try this one and see where this one takes us. So hopefully, it takes us to very fast speeds. Uh, speaking of speeds, record speed, I'd like to see the truck eventually hit is maybe like 100. You know, 80, 100. You know, right now, I'm setting my standards at about 60 mile an hour to see where it kind of goes from there. But very excited. So that's the motor. Like I said, that was around about 30 bucks. Then we have rims. Uh, I have a set of two of these. Uh, a set of four, I should say, not two. There's the other packages there. But I have street tires on the way. They're supposed to be here today. I wanted to get this video done. It's been a while since I put out a video, and I hate doing that. But I actually have lots of video that I need to get edited, get put out. Uh, we just did Hell Tour. Um, about three, four weeks ago, that was awesome. I got quite a bit of footage of Hell Tour. Um, all that stuff. I got a lot of new shit that I need to show you guys for racing. Very excited about. So, all that good stuff. Let's stop this right here. So, yeah. Giving us a glare. So, anyways. Yeah. This is the new project. This is just a simple project. It's just something fun. Um, I may even race this thing off-road this year uh, if they're doing doing truck for off-road. But the goal is to make this thing try to reach, eventually peak or reach at close to or there of 100 mile an hour. Is it going to happen? I don't know. But it sure the hell is going to be fun to find out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, my buddy's setting up uh, a GT, um, a GT truck, which is uh, Associated GT RC10. There we go. That was what I was trying to fully come out with. Um, it's an older truck. He's converting it to electric. So like I said, old school versus new school. So that ought to be quite interesting. So if you want to see any of that type of stuff, down below will be a link to his page. Make sure you subscribe if you do what you like what you see. And then you can kind of get a, a back and forth of what's going on between the two trucks and how they're how they're going. Uh, he ordered the same exact radar gun, so that way we can try clocking speeds to see kind of where we're going at. We are supposed to be doing a joint video together. Um, we do live about an hour apart from each other now, so we don't get to get together quite as often as we'd like to to uh, do videos and joint videos and stuff. So as soon as we can get a joint video, we're supposed to be weighing. Both the trucks as they're completed um, and all that good, wonderful jive stuff. But that's about it. Um, I don't know if I set it, but the truck right now, this one here is set up for mid-motor. I plan to keep it that way. I think that's going to help me for my wheelie hops. Got to keep this thing on the ground because I think this thing is seriously going to scream. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited. But... That's enough of that anyways, guys. I just wanted to uh, shout a quick little video out, let you guys know what was going on, and uh, hopefully we get the truck up and going soon, and we get some screaming videos of this thing hauling ass down the street. Uh, get some great speeds, but... Anyways, guys, thanks so much for sticking around and watching the video. And uh, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that's about it for right now. But be, be stay tuned for more videos to come. Uh, lots of new vehicles that I purchased and got and set up, setting up for some for oval, some for off-road. Uh, yes, I did get back into racing, so it did happen. And I, and I knew it would, but... Anyways, guys, that is it. Thanks for coming out and checking it out. We'll talk to you all later. Peace.